So I've been at this uh, business of trying to understand nuclear danger in the Cuban Missile Crisis for more than 25 years. Let me take you back a little bit. It might be of interest uh, to sort of give you some caveman-like history here of how we used to try to understand the event or events like it, uh, how we used to try to communicate it with each other as scholars, and how we tried to get the word out to the world at large. So I started on a book in about 1984 on the Cuban Missile Crisis. Um, I, I typed, I could type, a, a footnote, type on a typewriter. A typewriter was a machine invented in the 19th century uh, in which you, you hit a key and a, a metal arm went up and went whack, whack, whack. Uh, and well, you know, the problem came in that if you didn't type very well and you type the wrong letters or words, what do you do? Uh, another new concept, whiteout. It has nothing to do with snow or snowstorm, but it's a little bottle of liquid like this that spilled easily, and it, it was like nail polish, and you, you kind of nail polish the mistakes. You wait, and then you stick that page back into the typewriter, and you go whack, whack, whack again. You, so you get a sense of why it would, might take, take a little while, but that, that was actually not the biggest problem. The biggest problem was that when you had something to say and you finally worked your way through the whiteout, you finally typed it out so that it looked like written English, um, you sent it off to a publisher. If, if you blog, you know that it, it's as fast as your fingers can fly. The world has access to your brain, right? Um, the world had access to my brain about four years and eight months after my fingers hit the keys. Four years and eight months. Why? Because publishers took so long. You send, the ma you send a manuscript to them, they have a, it's like a little man in a room somewhere, and he's got to set the type for every single letter by hand. And when he finishes 200 pages of setting each letter where it belongs in the printer, printing press by hand, they print something out and send it to you, and it's got about 10,000 mistakes in it. So you go over it very slowly. And then you send it back. And there were three or four stages like this. And then you waited two years to get in the queue. You got in the queue, and then you waited two years to actually publish something. Fine. But let's say, in my case, you're working on a problem of nuclear war, about as catastrophic an issue, potentially catastrophic, as it can get. Let's say, as is the case, you get into the Cuban Missile Crisis, you see for the first time, you talk to people for the first time, and you see where the danger arose. It arose from miscommunication, misunderstanding, misperception. They didn't understand each other. So you want to get the word out. You want to say, in those days, the president was Ronald Reagan. President Reagan, look at this. Take a look at this. I mean, this could happen to you. But he can't, has nothing to look at for four years and eight months. We've now updated our communication strategy to include the technologies of the 21st century. Oh, sorry, sorry, I, I, I haven't figured out how this works yet. People of Cuba throughout the 1950s came to feel that they were being abused by the United States, primarily because the United States was treating the island as essentially Clearly, a house in the middle of the world's most dangerous nuclear crisis to have one of the three leaders you go with him. lost his mind. You go right into that bunker where Castro was writing his letters to Khrushchev. You go with Khrushchev 20 miles outside of Moscow where he is drafting go under Kennedy who refused to go into a bunker but who had the papers in his hand in case things got out of hand that he would be on a train bound for the hills of West Virginia and another bunker from which he would be writing his letters. You get into the bunker with these three guys and you know what you're gonna find? They thought nuclear war was about to break out and they didn't think there was a damn thing they could do about it. Is that scary? I think so. Have we gotten it yet? I don't think so.